So in this video, we will uh, see how to modify Azure Blob file in uh, Azure Functions. So in the previous video, we were uh, we downloaded the file and uh, uploaded it back uh, with a different name. So in this video, we will see how we can modify the downloaded file. So in order to modify, we would be requiring uh, one of the library. Um, so that is xlgs so it should be everything in the lowercase using xlgs we can uh, uh, read the file workbook uh, in the stream data so let us uh, first import uh, xlgs library into our project and uh, next we can uh, create a workbook with the xlgs and uh, when we download the file from the azure blob we will be getting it as a buffer data so in order to read the file we should be converting the buffer data to stream so for that we would be using uh, one of the library stream so in line number two we have uh, imported that and uh, so the stream will be converting uh, buffer data into stream data so line number 20 should be excel dot uh, w should be capital so let's change that it is getting highlighted in the green color so now we are able to read the uh, workbook from the blob so now let's add some changes to the workbook in order to add the workbook changes uh, we can uh, create a new sheet let's create a new sheet let's add a new sheet as a uh, node.js Let's copy this code and uh, paste it. If you haven't subscribed or liked or commented to the channel, please do that now. And uh, let's copy this uh, code. We can paste it after line number 24. So we will be adding uh, the workbook creator and created. So creator will be the name of the author and uh, created will be the what what time it, it got created. So new date will be giving us an object of the current date and current time. And, and uh, workbook view we are setting it the first page as the active sheet. It can be set using views for a certain sheet. So the grid lines and all. So now let's get the sheet which we created on the top Node.js and uh, let's add the add a table into that sheet. In order to add the table, we have a method called add table. So it will be present for all of the sheets. And these are the properties which can be added. Name of the table reference will be the where it gets added and the header row. You know, like true will be adding header. Like if it is false, it will not. It will not add a header. And the style for the table and the columns will be the header, and uh, the rows will be the uh, values uh, for the table. So now let's run the function. So everything is running without any error. So now let's like, go back to the blob azure blob and try to check the file it's test one dot xlsx and we open it in mac we are not seeing anything unfortunately and uh, we can go to the sheets and check here also we are not seeing 
so there is something missing in the code so we have missed to save the file save the workbook so now we have changed test1 to test2.xlsx so the buffer data needs to be written back let's test it now let's give a different name instead of a buffer data let's give a buff data so now uh, let's rerun the api so we got test2.xlsx when we download this we should be able to see three sheets and uh, in node.js there should be there should be one table so we have the table and node.js one so by this way we can modify the file from the job blob